Hey there, this is Goob Bobberty here, and this is level 1, the farmhouse. As I said, I'll be doing these levels solo, get the gameplay down, the skill down, and then I'll be doing multiplayer afterwards. So each of these videos will be a different level, and as I heard, these levels are kind of extensive. We'll see. So, hold on to your butts, and let's do this. Hold on to your butts. So, last time I did the tutorial, and now I'm doing the first level. And as I said, I'll be doing the entire solo campaign before I touch on the cooperative. You know, I want to be a good partner, being skilled. You hear me, darkness? Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, I got my gun. They are extra creepy. Alright, thank you, computer. I'll use my flashlight just for a bit. There's a wall coming up. This lonely road, lots of stars out. Monster noise. Keep out. Interesting, horrible monster noises. Whoa. See if you can get that gate open. All right. Set up a hacking tool to help you get through the lock. Ah. and rotate it until it turns green. Then pull the hack tool towards you. You'll have to do it several times to get all the way through. Pretty cool. Alright, okay. here I am. Head inside. I'm afraid. A bunch of combat programs just came online. Oh, for goodness sake. Looks like you hit the combat early. Sorry, Lieutenant. There's a knife and some ammo in the middle of the trailer park. Grab them and take out the Zeds. No! No! Oh god. So intense. Alright. Okay, slow, smooth. Look as fast. Confidence is key. <laughs> These system glitches are getting really annoying. It looks like the way forward is blocked by that wooden gate. So, Lieutenant, can you find some way to get the gate in? Will do. I got it. There has to be a fuel can or something around right here, Lieutenant. <sighs> Maybe the fashion would help. Yeah. It's the bloody dark, I agree. Let's check her out. Found it. Eh. Oh, there's a little gate here. Let's see if we can get in. Got the fuel can. Okay. Gotta turn the generator on. Get the fuel can here. And go. Yeah, baby. Maybe that's the drop. Can't wait to put there. Alright. Hit him over. Hit right on over with my teleportation skills. Right here I go. Whoop. fast. Uh-oh. This isn't 
some glitch or level design rebuilding this place. Some sort of virus has infiltrated our system. I don't know how. It's a closed system. The boss isn't gonna like this. The simulation's not over the robot commands. It's not good. We need to get you out of here. Follow the road and turn right at the mailbox. The extraction point is that way. Eventually. I hear that. Thank you, good buddy. Alright, moving in. Well, there's zombies. Confidence is key in the apocalypse, don't you see? You can't be kind, you gotta shoot them in the face before they come close. Right in the face! Here I go. That was a horrible creature that got me earlier. Huh, what do you got? Thanks to the virus, this simulation is going to crash you until you look if we don't get you out of here. We must get you to the extraction people, but we need you to get some data on the way out. Don't worry, it will require a lot of shooting and stabbing. Nothing to do. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! No! No! My ammo! Ammo! Point is down that dark and creepy side road. Yeah, I found it. Of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. Thank you, robot. That's a lot of zombies. Check behind me and engage. Look at this house. Some code in that house has gotten corrupted. We need to clean it out. Otherwise, this place is going to crash sooner rather than later. Beautiful. Hang on a sec. Great. More Zeds incoming. Let's get busy. I've been playing the division enough. I know what to do. I see you over there. Get you first. You're fast. Right in the face. Right in the face. No ammo. Fisticuffs, baby. Today. Man. All right, here's the house, baby. Here's the house. Front door and the back door. I got full life, I believe. Yep, there's my wrist. Creepy house indeed. It's just like the one we did a few minutes ago. Grab the hack tool and rotate it until it turns green, then pull. I know, I know. It's okay if you are. You did get knocked in the head pretty hard. And you are a lot of drugs. Same sort of thing happened to my grandfather back in the day. Go to the head and all. He got his head right, eventually. But he did think Granny was a talking chair for a few weeks.
talk about uh, that Resident Evil game I was talking about. Oh look, it's a different pistol. It's a second pistol. It's a different pistol. But I need to hold on to that. Hey, where'd it go? Good, I got it. So, I was just thinking about getting the Resident Evil game, you know? And look. <laughs> Great work. Your training really paid off. We need to find the corrupted code fragments in this house. They're doing serious damage to simulation stability. The scanner on the flashlight should do the trick. Search around the house and look for the way to the orb. I'll open a deletion portal. Just place the corrupted code into the portal to destroy it. Sounds good. Going to peace. <sighs> you got it? Take that code segment back to the deletion portal. <laughs> Once you do, keep looking inside that house for the rest of the corrupted code. Oh, there it is. Hey! The levels of horror in this game are high. High levels of horror. Should be random shapes, not what's that? Gas mask. Was that false? Couldn't be. He's this is getting weirder and weirder. This is not gonna go over my the boss. You're not done yet. There are more zeds in the way. That's good. Ammo conservation, baby. Good luck, Lieutenant. 
I know you didn't sign up for this, but I appreciate your efforts. Okay, you feeling Tom's over. Get me the lieutenant. I got you. Let's go. Which way? This way? Alright, that was a pretty cool level there. Goodbye, farmhouse. The Resident Evil level. Next time. Next time. We fight that guy. Next time. Hey there, well, there you go. That was the uh, first level of Killing Floor Incursion. The uh, video before this was a tutorial, so this is the second video, but the first level. First level is kind of long, you know. Uh, the farmhouse, it had some bugs in it, some flaws, but those aren't game breaking for me as much because the game itself is pretty, pretty good. Graphics are good, are good. Ambiance is there. The monsters are pretty good. Uh, it feels pretty good hitting them with my gun. You know what I mean? You go whammo with your fist or gun when you're out of ammo. It's pretty good stuff feels pretty realistic with that. In the game, it's a simulation, just like with Assassin's Creed, so you're able to have like loading screens and menus and checkpoints and like numerous deaths and still not break the game's uh, logic, you know? Uh, it's able to talk about itself as a game because it's a simulation, just like with this one. It knows it's a simulation and it's all about that, so it's pretty, pretty good there. The game's worth checking out, so I recommend it. So, uh... See you later. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for next episode with that gigantic monster, and we'll go on from there. Like and subscribe. The Goobobberty way.